that? Um, I wouldn't say I'm concerned. I would say that like I, in general, I'm hoping this ABK thing does end soon so they can start really putting all the resources into all their first party stuff and, and not focusing on this as much. And I, I get there's probably different divisions in Microsoft that focus on these th things. So that may not even be something that even happens where they're taking resources away from the Xbox vision. Maybe it's the, the, um, legal division or whatever it is. I don't know. But, uh, in terms of the mobile thing, I think like that emails from 2019 and we don't know the full context around it. Maybe he was just putting it out there as something yeah. to think about and consider. But I think at this point, Xbox is in a very healthy spot. And obviously they know that in order to gr continue to grow it, they need, they need access to the mobile side of, of gaming. Like, They've literally said that's why they're acquiring this. So I don't think that's going to like, they're going to just give up on the Xbox vision and go fully mobile. I think their plan, like you said, is to just build out Xbox mobile as an addition to what they currently have, which maybe in 2019, they didn't see a few, uh, as much of a future with that because of the state of the Xbox brand with the Xbox one and maybe game pass. Cause I launched in like 2017, maybe it hadn't grown enough by 2019 and they were just looking at their different options. But I think at this point, unless they've been lying to us this entire time seems like game pass is very healthy seems like xbox is very healthy the sales of even their consoles are, are pretty good right now i just feel like they're just trying they they've, they've identified of how big of a market gaming is and mm -hmm. i don't see them wanting to like reduce xbox's market share in any way so i don't think that they're going to give up on xbox vision anytime uh soon I hope so. I hope so because that's something that that you know that that has, has got me in my head these past couple of days. Will we see again a 2014? Will we see that happen? Because if this deal does fall through, you know, it, it, I'm not, I mean, fall through, like it does not conclude, you know, it gets denied. Could something like that happen? You know, because but yeah, that's something that that you know it's it's a good thing to think about. You know, yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's there. At the end of the day, I, I do think um, what this deal does, like being a $70 billion deal, it, it kind of seals that once this, if this deal gets approved, Microsoft uh, priority towards gaming is going to change because it's going to be a main yeah. focus for them because of the scale of this deal. They're going to want that money back, and they're going to be – more invested in the gaming division now if the deal doesn't go through if it falls through then you know it's it's a you know let's see how much game has grow with the first party games starting to come in and if they see that much potential because let's also remember you know since microsoft has more division and you know chat gpt has been picking up like like a lot so that's something that's why i'm a little bit concerned because they can look into that and say instead of investing in the game in the department let's invest in the ai area more so do you don't you don't think that they would try to go out and just try to expand in a different way though if this doesn't go through because they did also just spend seven and a half billion on bethesda right so yeah. i feel i feel like they would I, don't know. I, I feel like I feel like definitely um, if the deal goes through, they're they're not gonna spend the seventy billion dollars on the game in the division. I highly doubt that. Uh, this was an yeah. opportunity that showed up, and it kind of covered them like everywhere, like even in mobile. If yeah. it falls through, what I can see them doing is maybe investing in. Uh, they know they need to jump into the like the Japanese market or the Asian market. They might buy something there. And they might also invest a little bit more on mobile because they do want to jump into mobile. That's their strategy. But other than that, you know, they can slow down in acquisition, which I'm totally fine, too, if that's their plan. Yeah. Okay. But I just don't want them to go full mobile or to abandon the, the you know, the gaming department. Yeah. No, I agree. But we have to be clear, too. Like, it's Xbox is strategy for mobile, but it's also... Nintendo strategy and PlayStation strategy. They both yes. are Nintendo's already expanded into mobile. And PlayStation is they have a whole mobile division where they're having studios making games specifically for mobile. So all these companies know that like it's 
how do you reach the most amount of customers with the lowest cost to entry? And mobile is that avenue, which is why they're all trying to get there. And the, and the funny thing is mobiles are more expensive than consoles. That's another funny story because, damn, you get an iPhone, it's a $1,000 damn phone, and you get a Samsung, it's a $1,000 well, damn phone it, It's too, also more, more cheap at yeah. the same time. It's dependent on what you get. But you also yeah. need it to live, essentially, in yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right now, yeah. It, it, it's it's it a living essentially. So. 